Hey everyone, Steve Losh here, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly instrument your Clojure web apps, specifically Ring web apps, using Metrics Clojure. So here we have TypeCov, my little web app that I made. Uh, you can look at my YouTube feed if you want to watch me making it, but today we're going to instrument it in some metrics. So, if we go to read the docs for uh, Metrics Clojure, um, yep, you got your documentation here. I'm not going to go through it in the screencast. You can look it up yourself, uh, but what we want to do is we want to use the ring extras, and these will work with Noir as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, first of all, okay, let's go ahead and run the server locally just so we can see what we're doing. should be able to just do line run. I'll close this. That's the one running on Heroku. Come on. It's taking its time. It'll get there though, don't worry. Maybe. I think it's pulling down dependencies in the background. Well, anyway, while we're waiting, we can go ahead and open the project. Uh, basically, what we're going to do, um, step one, is that in order to use these new features of Metrics Closure, you need to be using the latest version of Noir. Don't ask me why, it's a long, horrible, dependency hell story. Um, but according to Chris Granger, uh, Alpha 10 is pretty stable, so if you're using anything later than that, you should be okay. Okay, so uh, step one is to use a later version of Noir. Step two is to include Metrics Closure. And the current version, is 070, um, but we're going to use the snapshot release because I haven't officially released the new version yet, so um, I'll do that later tonight, probably, or tomorrow. And then we're also going to use the ring helpers, which are at metrics closure ring. Okay, this is all in the documentation. If you uh, look here, um, I'll fix this later tonight. And the other one is here. Okay, um, and actually, well, let me make sure that this started running. Yep, okay, so we got it running locally. We're going to need to restart the server because we did just add dependencies, though. Um, but hopefully it shouldn't take this long this time. It should be pretty quick. Yep. Grab one of them closures yours and move them over. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so we've got our site. So now we want to add some metrics. So how do we do that? Well, step one, we're going to go to our server. Dot, um, let me just open it up manually. Um, we're going to go to server.clj. And these extras in metrics closure are implemented as middleware. So you can use it with Ring or Noir. Um, and in Noir, use server slash add middleware and then the middleware. So we're going to need to import the middleware. And you can see this is all, all in the documentation. Um, so we're going to, first we're going to instrument, because we need some uh, we need some metrics, and I don't feel like writing them by hand. So we're going to use, um, and all the ring extra ring functionality is under metrics.ring. So we're going to do metrics ring instrument, and just import only import instrument. Okay. And then we're going to add that as middleware. Okay. So this, this call tells Noir that we want to add this instrument as normal ring middleware, right? And this is what's going to um, record some common stats. And you'll see it in a second. I'm not sure if it'll take effect without a reload. Well, I don't know. Uh, you know what? To be safe, I'm just going to kill the server. I'm not sure if it would have picked that up or not, but I don't think it would have because I think it runs main, builds the middleware, and then starts. I think it only auto-reloads views and templates and such. I could be wrong about that, though, so don't quote me on that. Okay, so now we've got an instrumented web app, but how do we see? How do, how do we see the metrics? 
Um, well, you can use a REPL if you want, but that's kind of lame. We wouldn't want to do that in production, and it's, it's not the easiest way to do things. You have to look at it one at a time, and it's just a pain. So there's a couple ways you can view metrics. Uh, the first, we're going to open JVisual VM. It's going to take a second. Okay. Now we're going to find our closure process. Um, this is the Lanigan process, and this is the the actual app. So we're going to open that one up. And we're going to go over to mBeans. And you can see there's a ring mBean here. If we look in, you can see that uh, we got a whole bunch of different metrics here. So these are all the metrics that Metrics Closure's uh, ring helper will uh, measure for you. So let's take a look. Let's uh, say, what is the rate of requests? we look at the attributes, uh, we can see the the one minute rate has been about 0.2 requests per second. So let's let's refresh a bunch of times. And let's uh, refresh this. You can see it went up, right? I think can we? Yeah, you can even graph it, which is pretty cool. Um, you get all this for free. You probably already have JVisual VM installed. Um, it's installed when you install the JVM usually. So or the uh, JDK. So you probably already have this um, free graphing for your local metrics, which is pretty cool. Um, yep, you can see that we're getting higher. Let's let's uh, go a little crazy here. Sorry. Let me uh, let me make this window a little bit bigger. Can't really see what I'm doing here. Okay, um, let's run Apache Bench. Oh. So run AB, um, 10,000 requests, uh, concurrency of six, and just hit the home page. And it's going to fail a bunch of them, which I'm not sure why. I think there's something to do with OS X uh, being weird happening there. But you can see that uh, <laughs> our request per second rate is going quite a bit higher now. <laughs> so yeah, so there's all different kinds of um, there's all different kinds of metrics. Let me start that again so we can watch this. There's the, uh, the current number of active requests, which is the actual like requests that are in the process of being served. And since I ran Apache Bench with, with a concurrency of six, that's what we're seeing, five, six. Um, there's rate, which is the request per second um, over one, the last one minute, right? Um, there's also rates for individual types of requests, right? So we have the rates of delete requests or head or post or put. Uh, right now, we're only using get requests, so all the other ones are zero, obviously. Um, we have the responses, so the response rate, um, and the different types of responses. So you can see that there's a couple of uh, three, so like three or four not modified requests from when we were re refreshing before, that kind of thing. And then we also have a timer um, for each different type of request. We can say, okay, how long did it take for us to um, respond to the to a GET request on average, and you can see that 50% um, of them took five milliseconds or less. 75% uh, of them took six milliseconds or less. 98% um, of them took 14 milliseconds or less, and so on. You get the idea, right? Okay, so that's all well and good, uh, but this JVisual VM is good for getting you know doing some some local poking around. Uh, but it'd be nice if we could programmatically get our um, our metrics, right? So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to quit JVisual VM. We don't need that anymore. And let's go up here. Uh, we're going to use one more middleware, also from metrics.ring, but this this one is in um, the exposed namespace. And it's called exposed metrics as JSON. And we're going to add that before the instrumentation middleware, which means that the instrumentation middleware will kind of wrap this one. Um, so we'll also in, uh, instrument requests to this. You'll, you'll see what's going on in a second. Sorry. Okay. So we're going to add middleware. So we add that there. And I believe, one second. I believe, yeah, we're going to need to restart the server. When you add middleware, you do need to restart the VAR server. That's what I thought. Okay, let's refresh. And now, if you go to slash metrics in your app, 
you can see that it uh, exposes all those metrics as JSON. And uh, if we go ahead and oops, if we go ahead and do something a little more readable. Um, oops, we can curl it. We get all of our JSON, but that looks like crap. So let's use Python to pretty print it. Syntax highlight it and pipe it to less so we can see what's going on. Okay, and so now we have a programmatic interface to our uh, to our metrics, and you can see that. Let's let's go ahead and look for post. So right now there were no post requests, so everything is zero. But if I go back here and uh, you know copy some text and make a post request, and then let me do it a couple of times just so that we get some. Nice data. And now, do the same thing. And you can see that now we have some post data. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, and of course, you can, you know, um, you can add your own metrics, your custom metrics for specific things in your app, um, and those will also be exposed. Um, but for right now, I just wanted to show you a quick way to get some quick stats and hopefully uh, convince you to give metric exposure a shot. All right, that's about it. If you have any other questions, um, find me on Twitter or leave a YouTube comment. And uh, all right, cool. Thanks for watching.